the gift that couldn't be bought. It was the week before Christmas in a bustling town where snow blanketed rooftops, holiday lights twinkled in the trees, and cheerful music filled the air. Everyone was out shopping, bustling with excitement for the big day. The story centers on Claire, a single mother, and her teenage daughter, Emma. Claire had always wanted to give Emma the perfect Christmas. This year, her daughter had her heart set on the latest smartphone, which was all her friends at school had been talking about. Claire's job barely covered the essentials, but she felt determined to surprise Emma with it. She worked extra hours at the diner, filling in for co-workers, taking double shifts, even working weekends to make it possible. As Christmas drew closer, Claire felt proud. She had saved just enough to buy the phone, wrap it, and tuck it beneath the tree. She imagined Emma's face lighting up when she opened the box. Her smile, her joy, it would be worth every exhausting shift and sacrifice. But that evening, while Claire was at work, Emma was at home scrolling through old family photos. She came across a picture of her dad who had passed away years ago. Christmas had always been a time when she felt his absence most. She remembered the simple things she used to love, baking cookies with him and her mom, playing board games, making homemade ornaments. A pang of nostalgia hit her, stronger than any material desire. When Claire returned home, Late that night, she found Emma waiting for her. Hey, Mom, she said softly. Do you think we could maybe spend Christmas together this year? Just the two of us? You know, like old times? Emma's voice had a warmth Claire hadn't heard in years. Surprised, Claire took her hands. Of course, sweetie, she said, noticing the sincerity in her daughter's eyes. Emma hesitated, then continued. Honestly, I don't need anything fancy for Christmas. I just, I just want you around. Claire felt a rush of emotion. She hadn't realized how much Emma had grown to value these simple, meaningful moments over material gifts. The next day, Claire returned the phone, deciding instead to get a few supplies to make their Christmas special. Ingredients for their favorite cookies, a small craft kit to make new ornaments, and even a classic board game they used to play as a family. On Christmas Eve, they decorated the tree together, laughing as they hung their handmade ornaments and sharing stories about Christmas's past. They stayed up until midnight, baking cookies and even dancing to old Christmas tunes in the kitchen. Christmas morning, when Emma woke up, she found a single gift under the tree. Inside was a homemade coupon book Claire had made, offering everyone from one movie night to breakfast in bed. Emma's eyes filled with tears as she looked at her mom, realizing the true gift she'd received this Christmas was time and love. They spent the rest of the day in their own little world, making new memories and honoring the ones they had lost. The morale of the story is, the best gifts in life aren't bought in stores. The people we love, the memories we share, and the simple joys of being together are priceless treasures that last far beyond any holiday season.